Okay, let me tell you about the Predator. There's only two adjustments. This is your idle speed. This is your mixture. Just tighten it down is rich, up is lean. Tighten it up, it's a back bar, pow, 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 pow. That means it's too lean. And you only turn this thing a little tiny bit at a time, and it moves a long ways, that meter and block. There's two style of Predators. This is a steel billet. This thing is made out of a solid chunk of aluminum. And they machine it down with a brooch, and they shape it. And this in here, we like this kind better, although some guys like the cast one. The only thing different is made by two different companies, the castings were. And this in here has a holly pump. I like it. It's a lot better pump than the other style with the cast style. It, I guess it's, it's a matter of opinion. They all got the Predator bird on the other end. They all, they all the air cleaners are the same. They're all the same. 930 CFM at the top end, 390 at the bottom end. But this, this one, these things here seem to run really extremely well. Though, aren't you? you get a predator running at 800 RPM like that is very, very rare. Car right there, boy. If I was, if I bought this Predator, I would keep this, I would keep this video forever. See your mixture running here, about 12 parts to one, 12 air to one part of gas. And then you memorize what this thing does and these little fine tune. There's one more adjustment, there's a spring in here. You can tighten it and loosen it for low end, for uh, low RPM performance, or actually idling performance. Other than that, you don't mess with them. You don't change the jets, you don't do nothing. <coughs> your altitude here. Idle speed there, <coughs> spring tension over there. And I'll show you one more feature that the Predator has, no other carburetor has. These are good for mud bogs and, and uh, hill climbs and off the road rock crawlers and all that. You see that? That's just the gas that was in the line. The rest of the gas is still in there. To get it out, you got to take this plug out right here. Here comes your gas. On the old, on the on the other style predator, you have to actually take the gas line off to get the gas out of the inside. But this one here, like I said, we like this kind here. We don't see too many of these. They didn't they didn't uh, build a lot of these because the people didn't like the looks of them. I like them. It, people like those other thin aluminum looking things. But she's got the Predator bird and all that stuff on there, you know. I, I like I like these.